Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about fitness, uh, especially kayaking. I'm an amateur competitive kayaker um, and uh, I'm into that point of the season right now where I had my first race this past Saturday. I took home a third place uh, trophy here. That was the Little D on the Monocacy race in Frederick, Maryland. I've got another race coming up this Saturday on the Rivanna River in Charlottesville, Virginia. And then another race the following weekend in Nelson County, Virginia on the Thai River. Uh, so my smartwatch reviews are going to slow down a little bit. Um, the good news is the one I've been wearing for weeks now, the Amazfit GTR4, will be the most tested smartwatch I've ever had before I did the review. I've worn it in the gym multiple times. I've taken it kayaking multiple times. I really know this watch really well, but I do want to let you know I've got another Blood Glucose smartwatch review coming up. This just came in the mail today. This is the KS01, so I will charge this up, wear it for several days, and give you my full review, but I just want to say something. Uh, a lot of people are new to this channel based on my reviews of these Blood Glucose smartwatches. I do not trust these things. The, the, this technology is not there yet. It's not ready for prime time. And I especially want to talk to all the diabetics out there watching these videos. Do not trust any of these devices to provide you any sort of accurate or valid health data. I'm going to repeat that. Don't trust these things. The technology is not there. They're not FDA approved. I review smartwatches to work into my fitness to help me train better, to help me train more effectively. And I am looking at this technology just as like an emerging, emerging new technology that I think one day when we finally get there, this is going to be amazing. But these cheap Chinese smartwatches are not medical devices. So please, please, please don't trust them. But I've gotten a lot of comments. People want to know how accurate are they. And up until now, I've said I don't want to give any medical device. I'm not going to make any claims of accuracy on these devices that the companies themselves don't make. But that being said, yesterday I went out and bought myself a real glucometer. And I'm actually going to draw blood for this channel and my viewers so I can wear a couple of these smart watches and then test my blood immediately, see how the numbers compare. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to make any claims of accuracy. I'm just going to show you the numbers and you decide for yourself whether one of these neat little toys uh, might be something interesting to you. But again, it's not a medical device. Don't trust it, all right? It's for me, like I said, I just want to see what's new in emerging technology and how far it's coming. These things have come along with blood pressure, blood oxygen saturation, heart rate variability. So the technology in these things is really, really coming along quite rapidly. But blood glucose measurements, not there yet. It, it depends on a lot of things. It uses, we believe, the white light. And it's somehow trying to infer uh, by looking at the blood and the, ref uh, the reflection. I don't know if it's interferometry. I don't know if it's spectroscopy. Nobody's really explaining exactly how this technology works. But if a company is going to actually come out with a credible device, it's probably going to be Apple or Samsung or one of the big names. And they don't have it yet. Um, and then when one of these comes out, it will have to go through FDA approval uh, before you should trust it to your health. All these cheap Chinese smartwatches say right in, right in the instructions they're not medical devices. The numbers are for reference only, um, essentially uh, saying don't trust them. They're not accurate. They're not medical devices. The disturbing thing in a lot of their advertising is they all say medical grade. And that's just extremely misleading. They might mean that some of the materials in the watch are medical grade, maybe the plastic or the metal, but it doesn't mean it's a medical device. Very, very misleading marketing. So don't fall for it. Don't trust these things. But if you're interested in technology, well, stay tuned. I'll do this review and you can come along for the ride and see you know, how this technology is emerging. Um, yeah, so I will do the GTR4 review, as I said. I'll do the blood glucose monitor. I'll do a review of that and a comparison to the blood glucose smartwatch. And other than that, uh, things they are going to be a little slow now uh, with reviews because I'm going to be doing kayaking videos 
Um, I'll put video together of all my races and adventures, and that's, that's what this channel is all about. But honestly, the smartwatch reviews pay the bills and keep everything going. So I hope you understand. I hope you appreciate that. I really just want to show you these devices, give you my opinions, and you have to make your own informed decisions, and you have to do your own research, okay? Um, there's no substitute for doing your own research and knowing what you're buying and, and sort of tempering your own expectations of what you should get from a $40 or $50 smartwatch from China, okay? So the burden is on you. I'm here to give you my perspective. I'm here to maybe give you a voice and an opinion. Certainly don't trust your health or your life on any of these devices giving you accurate uh, medical data. They just don't do it. For me, I look at heart rate variability. I use the GPS function to, so I can see my tracks. Uh, I like to get blood pressure, and I like the continuous heart rate uh, measurements when I'm not only kayaking, but when I'm in the gym. That's the most important stuff to me. So that's where I am. Uh, these reviews will slow down because I'm in the kayaking season right now, kayak racing, kayak training. So I just want to get all these disclaimers in this video, let you know what's coming, um, and I will talk to you soon with some really cool reviews. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, you want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak, now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.